man, I'm on sticky. Man, that's no Nitro, rock diamonds that stick. Got paid off my flow, rock with my own flip. Take trips to Cairo, make it with your bitch. I know you playing with this rich fucking brick when I see you. I'm kicking your door, waiting in the fourth floor. Uh -huh. All you heard was Papa, uh -huh. don't leave me no more. Uh -huh. Kicking your door, waiting in the fourth floor. All you heard was Papa, don't leave me no more. Kicking your door, waiting in the fourth floor. All you heard was Papa, don't leave me no more. Kick Choose to use disrespectful views on the king of NY. Fuck that. Why try? Throw bleach in your eye. Now you're grilling it. That's that light shit. I'm scaling it. Conscience of your nonsense. In 88, so more powder than Johnson and Johnson. Talk still like Bronson. Vigilante, you wanna get on, son? You need to ask me. Ain't no one for kicking this rap thing. They siblings, nothing but my children. One shot, they get the current. The ill win. MCs used to be on crunch shit. Took home. Ready to die. Listen. Study shit, now they lost some money shit Successful out the blue, they lightweight Fred Jilly, my nine million make the white shake That's why my money never funny And you still were cool, stupid, stupid, stupid Jesus, it's the best thing that happened to the game since the tennis shoes was invented On the outside lace up, the world I fix up, the score on anybody, it's war on everybody. The new guys come in bloodshot between the eyes, as long as they selling that merchandise. And one what goes in, don't come back. The color might be green, but it's also black. It's red, I know many heads that spent bloodshed. Cursed and converses, dead and broke heads. Not every time you carry a Joe Smith, skip the small moves, ponies, and case whistles. High school and college coaches getting dollars for kickbacks and scholarships. Them slave shit, huh? Versus for the throws, kid here feelings. We rock like this, we bounce my ideas. We part of that click, spinning on the chest on kicks. BS in the politics, politics, and them sneaker pimps. 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 Hey, Dr. J, when you got those moves, was it getting high in the school? Up in foreign lands With the man behind the man Getting paid behind the man I hold the rocket Stop the hand in my pocket Two hundred a pair But I'm addicted to the gear He a baby do things On a court to a major I heard they made him For a buck eight in Asia They came a long way baby Since Clyde Frazier Had pumas Pulling mad consumers The feelings I'm feeling Like I can't touch the ceiling The new balance It's 120 million The last thing I need Is Adidas Terminate my contract For wearing those old pair of whack Rock low tops, covered up by floppy socks. Gave me a jump shot before I got jumped and shot. Ducking a word from my sponsor. Trying to end my year like Kwanzaa. Uh -huh. Hello, everybody. This your man, h B, coming at you live and direct. It's the End of the Bench podcast. Every Tuesday, I might be changing that time. So I, every Tuesday, but now, every Tuesday and Saturday, Tuesday at 1 p.m. Central, Saturday at 4 p.m. Central. I am working on changing my time, so 
follow your boy around. Now, as you know, this is the End of the Bench Podcast, hosted by yours truly. I am H. Rap B. I am taking over the universe one week at a time. Big ups to everybody who's a background listener. Please hit the like button. If Even if you're in the chat room, hit the like button. Please share on your social media. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. And congratulations for joining in. Joining the adventure. Now, with that being said, you know how I start off every show. I give homage to my ancestors who helped shape your boy. I want to say what's up to big ups to my ancestors. The reason I do this is because it was taught to me that before you do any public speaking, you send up respect to your ancestors and they send down blessings and protections to you and your listeners. So I have to do this every week. It is the Whitmore family, the Pollard family, the Cotton family, the Harper family, the Bailey family, the Lansdowne family, the Ligon family, the Duncan family, me and my pops and my brothers, and my brand new as of today nephew are the Williams Clans. <laughs> my mom's too, but you know, she, she uh, got gifted in play some Teddy P. Here we go. You know, uh, I guess we're going to start off early with my man, uh, Big Illinois. The answer to that is... Just so very many ways for me to say this to you. Never, not in a million years, absolutely not. No way, Jose, no chance, Lance, yet, negatory, mm-mm, nah, uh-uh. And of course, my own personal favorite of all time, man falling off of a cliff. No! I see my main man, Big Illinois, has started off early. Thank you for joining the fun. And for joining the fun, here you go. Strong as, the, strong as the ox, fresh out the box. My man, Joe from Houston, is in the building when the original bench walk. I got my man, Rough Buff, in the building. Spreaker.com. He joined me when I joined Spreaker. Thank you, Buff, for the support. Got the number one chief rocker that don't drink no chief vodka. My co-host, old brother's gonna work it out Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. We killing the game tomorrow. Tune in. I got Moni in the middle. Where she at? In the middle, in the building. And because my chat room is a little light today, it looks like Regina Hawk is going to close that out. Oh, let's see, I got another another special guest, Regina Hawk. I got my main man, my little bro, Chris Bradhart in the building. Man, we like today, but that don't change that. I'm still it's rap B. I'm still gonna bring the funk. I'm gonna keep it funky with you all the time. I got baseball, I got basketball, I got football, I got a rant as usual. And in any event that you wanna join the show, seven seven three seven nine seven twenty four oh nine. Seven seven three seven nine seven twenty four oh nine. Somebody asked me my damn phone number and I gave that to him. I'm losing my mind. Shout out to me for being in the building at all times. Now, allow your boy, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Rap. Man, I'm going, I don't even know where I'm going to start off today. You know, I'm going to start off where y'all don't want me to start off. It is the eve of the Major League Baseball trade deadline. Yeah. It is the unofficial dog day of summer, but you know what? I got a rant. I got a rant. I'm starting off the show with a rant. It is awful amazing, awful amazing, insanely amazing, foolish, or whatever word I want to use to say, man, ain't this a bleep? How in the NBA, over the last few years, over the last few weeks, we've been as fans and media nonsense media uh uh personality personalities and mainstream media they've been pushing the envelope on see you know you got jackasses like steve kerr talking about you need to be able to uh oh my, my name is the master blaster hey man 
I'm, my name is Rick James. Sit your ass down. Sit your ass down. That's my co-host on number one, Chief Rocker, Jersey Vern. Master Blaster in the build. How about that? But uh, it's funny how mainstream media has been. I got Brian Hill in the building out of the great state of Georgia. Atlanta Falcons fan, big time. Thanks, Brian, for the support. The reason I'm starting off with baseball is because I didn't I didn't really have a point to uh start off. And then I realized I wanted to go on a rant. It's funny how Steve Kerr and others and mainstream media have been pushing the narrative of basketball players need to learn how to uh, uh honor their contracts. If you sign a contract here, you need to honor that and all that jibber jabber. Ya 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 blabber yakity schmackity. You know what I mean? But they, those same people sitting in those same chairs on those same networks, they're excited because we're two, less than 24 hours away from the end of the trade deadline. It is, is it an exciting? Be, no, it's not. The reason it isn't exciting is be, because why is it a crime that Anthony Davis, who actually didn't ask for a trade, he did what you guys told him to do nine years ago when LeBron James went on his run. Remember when LeBron James left Cleveland initially, part of the argument was he should have told them so they could get some compensation. That's so wrong. He totally disrespected the organization, which is a joke, which is a whole <laughs> joke. But that's the narrative they put out there for us, man. And we were supposed to be stupid enough to go along with that narrative. Oh, yeah, man. And a lot of us were, myself excluded. But a lot of us, we, we fell for that. So you had people like Paul George step up and say, hey, man, I want to, hey, Indiana, I ain't stand, so y'all might as well trade me. And people was like lukewarm on that. And then Anthony Davis did it this year. Hey, next year, y'all better trade me. Because uh, he never said I ain't coming back. He never said any of that. He just said, I'm not signing your extension. And then you heard, he forced his way out. He didn't. But back to the topic at hand, Major League Baseball players will be traded, cut, swapped, moved around with no regards to their family, no regards to their comfort, comfortability, no regards to the fact that I signed a contract to play in Atlanta, Chicago, New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, uh, St. Louis, or what have you. And you guys put me where y'all want me to be because you no longer want to pay this $19, $20, 30000000 million a year. And nobody says anything. Madison Bumgarner says he's perfectly, perfectly happy in San Francisco. They, more than likely, they're going to move him. Uh, uh, the kid from Cleveland, the pitcher from Cleveland, I got his name wrote down. He's perfectly happy pitching in Cleveland. And they're going to move him. So Marcus Straub was moved the other day. Even though he's a native of New York, but uh, that doesn't mean he wants to play. Trevor Bauer. Nor synagogue, it may be sent out of New York today. Is anybody worried about them and their comfortable, uh, comfortable lifestyle and where they want to be and the contract that they signed with the Mets, the contract that they signed with the Cleveland Indians, the contract that they signed with the San Francisco Giants, the contract that they signed with the Toronto uh, 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 Blue Jays? Nobody's concerned about that because they're the commodity. He gave uh, Pels no other choice but to, uh, okay, the Pelicans no other choice but to trade him. Yeah, but he didn't read. You're right. But my, my my issue with that big Illinois is this. Don't get in my ass because I pack up and leave like Kevin Durant and leave y'all high and dry. And when I try to get y'all the heads up, hey, man, I don't want to be here. Y'all might as well trade me. You may as well accept that, trade him, and keep it moving. Because word around the campfire, he told them last summer I'm not going. And he was trying to keep it real on the, on the low key, on the QT, as they used to say back in the day. But they wanted to make it public, and they wanted to shame him because they consistently shame shame people into doing those things. They shame, they use the main, they use ESPN, Fox Sports, the Bent Bleacher Report, so forth and so on to shame you to turn the fans against you. So he he, you're right. That's not a trade demand. Okay, if that's a trade demand, uh, Big Illinois. Do you prefer that he just pack his stuff in, in a year and a half and leave? Because that's the other option. And then, it, see, my thing is this, Big Illinois. They cannot live on both sides of the fence. 
You cannot 